Hello everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in today to the I Natural Body channel. This is Sonia coming to you with another soap maker tip. If you guys are wanting to enter some of your mold into Soap Maker 3, please follow along. I'd like to share with you what I've learned in the software. Our tip of the day is you can change the categories of other expense purchases. See the list of all purchases report under the main reports menu. That's some good information. All right, so say for example, you're like me and you have Crafters Choices mold number 1501. The first thing I do is I get online and I like to use my cell phone to pull up the information. Crafters Choices website and I'm going to pull up that mold number 1501 for the internal dimensions because we are going to need that information and when you pull it up on their website the mold capacity says that it can hold up to 44 ounces and it will provide a bore depth of two and a half inches and a bore width of three and a half inches. So with that information we are going to go into our tools show my molds and I am going to expand I hope you guys can see this but what you do want to do is go into the tools menu scroll down and select my mold on your computer screen click on new you'll get another window that will have a mold um, a new mold dialog box and what we're doing is inputting the information now if you know the volume for the mold perfect you can enter it in directly but if you want the software to calculate the volume from the dimensions you put in and this is what I've been doing then you just make sure that that is selected so for this particular mold we have a depth of two and a half inches and a width of three and a half inches so we'll put the three and a half inches and the depth which is also the height is two and a half inches and the length we have eight inches this is our internal dimensions for the loaf and you want to go ahead and give it a name I'm keeping it simple and I'm going to say it's crafters choices 8 inch silicone mold because if I have any questions I can always refer to this supplier and it's not that hard. I hope the video was beneficial to you. If you have any questions or comments please leave them below. Please subscribe to the channel and like this video. I really appreciate your support. As always have a wonderful day and bye bye.